Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you can't type into the Windows 10 search bar or it's not working properly. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by right clicking on our taskbar on the bottom of our screen. So just find a blank spot on the taskbar, right click on it one time, and then left click on Task Manager. Give it a second to load the task manager screen here. Now you want to go up and left click on the file tab up at the top and then left click on run new task. Now in the open field here you want to type in PowerShell exactly how it appears on my screen and check mark inside the box to create this task with administrative privileges. Left click on OK to confirm. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of this video. I want you to copy each one at a time. So we're going to run the first command from the first one I'm going to have in the description of the video. So I just copied it onto my clipboard and I'm going to right click on this top bar right here, just right clicking one time. And then I'm going to go down and left click on edit and then I'm going to left click on paste. Once you've done that, it should take a second to load and then it will say system32 with a little line underneath. Now there at this point you want to type in the second command. So again, I'm going to go up to the top bar here, right clicking on it. Then going down and left clicking on edit and then paste. I'm copying and pasting these off screen just if you guys are aware, but they will be labeled in the order that I have them in the description of the video. So just copy one and then do the other one once the first one is run. So this will take a couple moments to run, so please be patient. Okay guys, so once you have it come down to here and it's just system 32 with just a little line, that means that it's going successfully. So at this point I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully it's resolved the issue. Now if it hasn't, you're more than welcome to go and use the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, which I've made tutorials about in the past. And there's some troubleshooting utilities in there you can give a shot. So I do hope you guys have different options to work with. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.